karma usually is categorized into four parts. One is prarabdha karma, another is sanchita karma. Sanchi anti anti alsa? Sanchi. Ah, Ganisak. <laughs> so, prarabdha is the allotted karma for a lifetime. This prarabdha will determine your lifespan. If I dissolve your prarabdha today, you could die tomorrow morning. You may be perfectly healthy, but you will die tomorrow morning because your software is gone. There's no this thing for this body. Suddenly you, be you may become still absolutely beautiful state for some time and poof. So we will never touch the prarabdha. We are touching the sanchi. There's a warehouse of karma which doesn't come into… which doesn't come into play at all in this life. It never comes into play in this life. It is not about this, but it gives you substance. So, if we dissolve the sanchita, it's a large warehouse, it's not a simple warehouse, a very complex warehouse. If this begins to dissolve, then you find nothing has changed about your life, but it's like a kind of a transparency. The, the opaque nature of your existence is reduced. But no transformation in you, everything is same, you're just the same person. You wonder what the hell is happening, is this really spiritual process, is this all a dream <laughs> You're still the same, you got the same problems, you got everything same. But there is a sense of translucence in the body. Body feels little as if it's got a little bit of holes in it. You begin to feel like a sieve, not a solid stuff. So that may take some time because this is a large warehouse. Why I'm telling you this is because whenever you do spiritual sadhana, you're expecting a result and many of you are trying to create a result. Never try to create a result. If you try to create a result, it's a made-up one and it's not going to last. See, somebody tells you, be loving. Three days you act loving and all your frustrations build up. Everybody feels awkward with your love and your frustrations build up and one day you're going to burst like a cracker. Hasn't this happened? After a very loving spell, hasn't this happened? <laughs> because you're trying to be something without changing the basis of who you are. Ninety-eight percent of your mind is unconscious, that is sanchita. It never comes into play, but always there, influencing everything. So we are not looking for any quick transformation, tomorrow you go out with bleeding heart or something like this, I'm not interested. It is just that the inner substance is slowly taken away. The outer thing you play, the game, what's a big deal? Have you seen sometimes termites have eaten up from inside, just the paint coat, paint coat is left, you go and touch it, buchuk <laughs> So the intention is to make you like that. Only one layer of paint coat is left, inside all gone. Sometime when the end is coming, if you touch and see buchuk, no substance inside. Is that okay? Every damn thing that any man can see, I have seen. When you transcend certain limitations and you go into another area of life, there are other kinds of forces which will try to stop you.
that is my business. If you're using me as an entertainment, you'll be sorry. If you use me as a possibility, you're blessed. Blessing is not a good thing, nor is it a bad thing. Especially when it comes to me, it comes in so many ways that you have not imagined. If you have truly given yourself for one moment, I will see you through, that's for sure.